What's up, Mr. Zano? Zach coming at you with A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. So, we're going to start off with some background information on the play. Um, so, it was pr first presented in the Barrymore Theater in New York in 1947 and in front of a huge crowd. And a fun fact about this crowd, um, they were, as you know, more conservative-leaning due to the times. But um, after the play was over, there was kind of a shock amongst the audience due to the more controversial themes of the play, um, Desire being one huge one, as you know. But um, And uh, due to the shock, there was a huge silence um, that fell upon the crowd. But after the uh, silence was over and the shock left, um, there were loud cheers, and it later won the Pulitzer Prize for Best Play. Um, so... Moving on to some more plot themes in the play. Um, the play starts out in New Orleans with um, <clears throat> this uh, this woman named Blanche coming in and um, basically kind of wreaking havoc uh, in her sister's home, her sister being Stella. Um, we later find out that uh, Stella is pregnant with um, her husband, who is Stanley, a uh, Blue collar, blue collar worker that um, has alcoholic tendencies, but at this time, you know, who doesn't in um, New Orleans? But um, so Blanche, Stella's sister, is a very vain kind of um, poor woman at this point. But um, Stanley and Stella don't know this yet. Uh, they they kind of um, Stanley Stanley investigates a lot and wants to learn more about Stella, and uh, because of this they get into a few fights. But, um, so basically Stanley makes um, some accusations, um, and we find later that Blanche is um, an alcoholic herself, and also um, struggles with the loss of Stella and her plantation back home after losing a job. Um, so, some important themes that go on the play, one obviously being desire. Um, I th the most important quote of the play having to do with this, um, it came from, um, well, anyways. They told, they told me to take a streetcar named Desire and transfer it to one called Cemeteries and ride six blocks and get off at Elysian Fields. So, this this quote is very important because um, it mentioned it mentioned cemeteries, you know, and so uh, this kind of speaks to the uh, um, kind of death of uh, of Blanche's social life that's coming soon. You know, it's a foreshadowing of what's about to happen. So, um, so yeah, that was probably the most interesting quote in the play. But my, um, so my, um, my thoughts on this play, uh, pretty good, you know, it's, uh, really interesting throughout the entire time and, uh, definitely would recommend it to a friend. Uh, you know, you know, I've got, I've, I've had a few friends who've read it before and, um, they all like it too. But yeah, if you haven't read this book, Mr. Zano, I would completely recommend it and, uh, thank you.